And with that, welcome into week number seven of ML Double season number six, as it is Curtis along with Ninja Rider on our second day of week seven action. Ninja, how are we doing? I'm just glad this week is over. Yeah. We got some MLD action on our screens, man. I mean, yeah, it's uh, that's not, never a bad thing to end your week with as we get into this Friday night. Uh, but it's only got a couple series for you tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. Don't have that third one as we uh, had a bit of a late start today because of that. But uh, on our screens, Demolition and the Sharks cross-conference play in its final week in Platinum League. That's right. Yeah, Demolition sitting three games out mm-hmm. in their... Uh, their division, number three, actually, in the Volcanic, and number 15 in the league, sitting at 13 and 17. They are definitely looking for some wins here. But they're going to get up against the Sharks, who are sitting number 13 in the league. So fairly close at dead even, 15 and 15. Not too bad, but they are sitting number three in this very hotly contested Storm division at four games out. We should mention, Curtis, that Ka is a recent addition here to this uh, this squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. He uh, he came in at the deadline and just basically jumped up from the reserve role to the starting role. And so that adds a, a bit of a different look that uh, Clay HD and him will provide. So it should be interesting to see how they do. The uh, two teams above them, well above 500, but still single digit games back and still definitely doable with three weeks to go before playoff start. Yeah, we're just... Waiting for the players to get on the field. It looks like yep. Ka is ready to go as the players start joining the pitch. We are good. Looks like we're looks like we're pretty good. Yeah, <clears throat> and interesting enough, purple and green. I might add. Uh, it, you know what? That's magenta. Somebody magenta. Used T-Mobile. That is Sorry, magenta. my bad. <laughs> 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 we are underway with game number one as the demolition will move it out of their end. It's going to be into the corner. Popped in front, trying for the near side. And Texas 21 is able to put that one home. It's a one nothing lead. A straight-up double-commit misplay there by the Sharks. I mean, you know, they got a little bit anxious there on the start, trying to get that early goal, but everybody's trying to steal boost and claim dominance. But the, well, the demolition say, uh, yeah, we got that. <laughs> Kaw helps putting that up the sidewall. This will be at the halfway line. In come the Sharks. They're going to try for the tying goal. They may be able to get it, but just above the crossbar and down is Texas 21. He'll try to make contact. He will regroup. In come the Demolition. Chance in front. That'll be sent towards the sidewall. Sharks got to try to regroup possession. This will be a chance along their goal line to take this one away. Oh, that's still in front, but the Sharks do well to at least get out to the side again. Keeping with it, good save initially. 4-10 to go in a 1-0 game. Demo off to a decent start, trying to keep the ball away from their net. And they've had a couple of opportunities, but only one shot so far. And they have. The Sharks, once they get onto their side, they, they fairly organize some mistakes mechanically here and there, but seem to have a man back. They settle down quite a bit because they're kind of all over each other here. Loose ball here midfield is Texas Ace just kind of lobbing it towards the net, forcing both Sharks to go for it, but they're kind of just sitting there. A little bit of a uh, little bit of a hockey term, I guess, at that point. Just throw it at the net and see what happens, and it almost ended up in the back of it. So this will be a chance for a dribble. Kaw going to move it up, move it around the corner. Pop it in front. Clay is lurking. He's going to have a shot, and it goes far side and away. One that careens off the post. We played about a minute 40. A one nothing game. A demo trying to tie in a really good save on the other side as Clay gets in front of it in the nick of time barely getting there too he luckily timed that flip just right and that allows caught to take a shot near side as texas ace with the save still caught up in the corner here top shelf for clay good work from clay this is actually a really really good read goes around the corner gets one piece of contact with the barrel roll realizes where it's going to come off of the wall and the back, the back defender i believe that was caught is a, i'm sorry that was uh shadow a little bit late to respond to it so a 1-1 game sharks tied up would like to thank Chrysler Link for the 5105 bit cheer in <laughs> the ML Doubles channel. Thank you very much, sir. That goes towards a good cause, trust me. 5105. That's 5105. A, that's a pretty darn sizable cheer. Nice yes, work. It is. Your your bits are pretty. Nice job. It's it's two, <laughs> 241 to go. <laughs> Leaving that alone. Uh, yes. Awkwardly. <laughs> 
This it's a professional be... cast, Curtis. What are you doing? <laughs> and nothing unprofessional about pretty bits, okay? There, there is absolutely nothing unprofessional about the way you said that at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. This will be the Sharks trying to regroup possession in their corner. Coming out is Clay. He's got one to beat. Tries to turn. Ooh. Gets around one. He's going to do a little bit of a barrel roll. Oh, and caught. Okay. Receiving into that good play by Clay. Uh, yeah. I mean... Clay just listening to Skippy on that play as it dishes out here for Ka. Sockflake Shadow trying to keep up with it, but the... Well, I almost said spinning back fist, but it wasn't an actual shot. Works out well there for the Sharks as they take kickoff here, trying to gather some possession. Time here is just over two minutes left, Curtis, and both teams going back and forth generally. Yeah. Sharks took a minute to get going. Uh, but as soon as they got going, they kind of they, it's two unanswered at this point. And now, of course, the demolition are on their back heels. Sharks, though, they are playing 500 Rocket League right now, as far as this league is concerned, and are arguably in the better division. They uh, based on the two teams above them. So this becomes a really, really stressful matchup for the demolition, who are going up against a, a division in the storm division that is a, probably a little bit better matchup wise than yes. they are used to playing. I'd have to admit that you are correct. Uh, it is pretty close there for the Sharks, as I'm still getting used to seeing them in magenta. <laughs> hey, secondary colors. Secondary colors for sure. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's uh, definitely very nice. But the Sharks do have a little bit of work to do right now. As, as I mentioned before, they are four games out. So a four-game win here in this series would go a very, very long way. And sealing their fate, Ooh. but the tie-up comes out here for the demo. And a little bit of hesitation is what killed the the um, the shark in this play. Really, really good mm -hmm. work. But the but that was Texas Twenty One who basically caught Clay running back to his own net, and that was a problem all the way throughout. So a two-two game, Deuces Wild, sixty-two seconds to go. Good game one. It's shaping up to be as we get into the waiting tunnels. A minute left. Still anybody's game here. And this could decide the momentum for the rest of the matchup. There's a nice pass here out to Kaw. Sends the ball flying onto the offensive end there for the Sharks. Tries for a shot, does Kaw, but Texas Ace. Going to leave this one here for Sockflake Shadow. No, he'll pick it up. Unfortunately, just giving possession right back, but the push keeps on going. Patient play here from the Sharks, able to clear it out, is Clay. With 30 seconds left, Curtis, it is still anyone's game. It's hard to call. It is. It absolutely is. Sharks uh -oh. have a little bit of momentum going back, but then it gets sent right back down. Clay trying to, or I'm sorry, that's caught, trying to get something going, but he will lose it to Sockflick. Sharks on the attack, though. They are circling the wagons here. Clay looking for one more touch off to the middle, and caught not able to get there in time. That's a pinch off the side. Clay up, makes contact. He's going to try to give this a look. Doesn't quite have enough boost to make things happen. We got two seconds on the clock. And that is going to oh. likely conclude oh, matter here unless something wait. crazy happens oh. and it'll hit the ground just before. There was any time on that clock, that ball goes in. This game is over, but we have OT instead. Demolition able to enter the crease on a fantastic keep up play, just barely missing it. And the Sharks breathe a sigh of relief as they regroup on their end here in overtime. Oh, Pass that's out. Ace, not quite. That's a very, very close chance. Now the Sharks have the attack on the other side. It's Kaw looking for a turn. Has a little bit of an angle there in Sockflake. Able to jump in front of that. Actually, that is Texas 21. Now coming in is Shadow. Shadow into the corner. Clay moves up and around him. Kaw waiting on the goal line. He will get in front of this ball. Doesn't let it get into frame. Smart move. Sharks looking for one more touch. This is going to be a play going off the sidewall. Chance in front. The layer a little late is Clay. Clay still trying for the attack. He's got the ink boost flowing at the moment. One of the worst boosts in the game. But Kaw able to take advantage of a bounce in front. And the Sharks are going to take game one. Demolition just having a hard time with positioning there. Texas Ace really nowhere where he should be at all. Thought about going up the backboard, but he was backwards. How many times do we have to stress this with yeah. the backwardsness? Happens. Go it forward. It definitely happens. Sharks, though, they had to make come back to do it. They take game they one did. on the strength of three. Well, ended up being two unanswered goals, and then the demo ended up tying it. The Sharks take care of business. And that uh, that brings me to that play at the end of regulation where the ball was going to go into the Sharks net. Demo are poised to win that game. 
and it hit the ground. They couldn't finish the job, and the Sharks come through and win. Yeah, the Sharks, like I said, they just regrouped. They made sure that everything was good on their end, and they attacked when it was time to attack. And mm-hmm. It was the perfect timing, too, as, as I mentioned before. Positioning issue there at the end of overtime, therefore the demolition, and the Sharks able to capitalize nicely as we move here into Game 2. Again, tough to call here. Both teams playing fairly evenly and actually adhering to the scores that we're seeing in the standings. Well, coming into the series, again, keep in mind, the demo were negative one on the goal differential. The Sharks were negative two. And these guys, these teams are playing incredibly close Rocket League all the way throughout the regular season. So this, is, this makes for a good competitive matchup going across the conference. And you got to know that, the, that these teams are... Uh, realizing that basically they're looking at a mirror image of the other across the pitch. So this is going to be a big couple of games and one that they can use to possibly solidify a chance at playoff positioning. This is week seven, people. Three weeks left to center playoff spot in the platinum. Caught trying to do just that. It was a little bit awkward for him. Clay gets the touch, throws it into the corner, just trying to keep the play alive here. Clay to pick up. A little bit too much power on that. Got to drag the brakes, Clay. Off the backboard should be a nice pass, but no sock flick shadow reads it very well from the wrong side. Can't get the touch off the wall. 45 seconds in. That was a heck of a touch off the wall, but it sets it up for Ka right down Main Street, and it will go in. Sharks take one. Yeah, that's a quick strike offense from Ka, realizing the the chance in front of him. He's got both of the demolition players basically in the same spot coming across the goal line or coming across the halfway line. Nobody back to try to defend that hammer of a shot from the halfway line. And 51 seconds in, it's a one nothing lead for the Sharks as they try to pick up where they left off. Let's see if they can keep this momentum up right towards the net again. It's high. So the demolition just trying to slow this down a little bit. Take some possession time. Force the Sharks to start thinking that they don't have control, although that doesn't help. Running into each other, generally not recommended as a shot yeah. comes through. Caught getting credit. Yeah, and you know what? The demolition right now would be way too passive with their possession. They have mm-hmm. no problem giving it up. They're just sending it across the halfway line. And in places like that, you've got a player rotating back the same side as the ball with the ball coming behind him. That is a recipe for disaster at this level, and the demolition cannot recover in time. Sharks do well to take advantage. And because of it, they just continue on rolling. A lot of unforced errors on the Demolition right now. The, Demol- the Demolition definitely not doing Paula Dean proud as they do not have <laughs> enough butter on those plays. So if we go off the backboard here, slight inaccuracy coming out from the Demolition. Again, inaccurate on the touch, but it leaves it for Clay. Texas is back. They're not getting great contact either. That's They're the really other thing. The, nah. the clears are not going really going anywhere. They're basically staying static. And you can't really leave those layups for a Sharks team that's already scored a couple of long goals oh. in this series. And they're going to get one more. Just heartbreaking here for the demolition. Texas Ace was in completely the wrong spot. He rotated back way too slow. And then he even realized after the miss from Sockflake Shadow that you know, he just didn't have a chance. Didn't even try for it. But, man. Yeah. No two I mean, minutes dem- gone. In game two, it's a 3 nothing lead for the Sharks. The, uh, the demo got to try to find something. They are looking up at the Dodgers and the Elite in that division right now, and they are not doing themselves any favors. This will be towards the sidewall. Caw puts it off that side, tries to play it laterally. That pitch is going to send it towards the Sharks net. It's going to drop in front, and a backflipping from Clay HD is going to uh, seal the fate of that ball. It's a 3-1 to one lead for the Sharks. Super cheeky here by Sockflake Shadow. A great challenge. Ends up sending the ball right towards the net. I thought it might bounce a little high, but it didn't think the stars there for the Demolition. They're starting to put on that armor. The Demolition so well known for it. Although, off a kickoff. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, this is a great kill. Great kill at the, the center dot. And coming in, grabbing the boots in the corner, just having a beeline for the ball is Kaw, and that was uh, that was a nice attempt by Texas 21. He grabbed the boost in the opposite corner, but he couldn't get back to the net in time, not realizing where that ball was headed. So really, really good placement, really, really good boost grab and rotation in from the Sharks, and they take a three-goal lead. Oh, wow, double miss there from both teams. The ball kind of stalling out here on the wall. Clay 
able to take some control. Nice boost management to get there, but the pinch sends it sailing. Again, great rotation from the Sharks, getting it done, making sure they got a man on the ball at all times, or at least heading towards it. Generally, is Texas Ace getting some momentum for the demolition. Oh, off the crossbar. It might bounce out. Yeah, it's bouncing out. Kaw <laughs> able to come straight down on it and send it away for Clay to pick up. Physics wins again. Uh -oh, That's a right really good in. one with a demo with the return fire. Uh -oh, and Kaw, again, Kaw keeps it out. Kaw and again. Again, the Sharks survive away from giving up a goal. The demo got to be kicking themselves. That's two almost guaranteed goals they let go by and a four to one leader remains. We might have to start calling the Sharks the T-Mobile crew because they are keeping customers <laughs> left and right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be good. Yeah, you succeeded in that. <laughs> can, can, can we just say it? Can we just say it? Oh, the humanity. Manatee, I'm going to cringe for you. <laughs> this is a chance in front for the demo. Still going to bounce in, in front of the Sharks net. And finally, Sock Lake Shadow puts that one home with a minute 12 to go. This game not out of reach quite yet in a 4-2 deficit. Not even close. I mean, Sock Lake Shadow is possibly the slowest approach to the ball. And he just kind of nudges it right there and in. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Calling me out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, All right. Minutes to go. Four-two lead for the Sharks. Demolition trying to put this, put another one home. Trying to get it at least to a one-goal deficit before the thirty-second mark. That's a chance far side. That one's off the post. Demolition cannot keep it in. That's going to be an easy clear for Clay. Clay going to try to keep Ooh. it. He has the dunk. It's going to pop out in front oh. and not able to get that one home. Is Kaw very close? but the Sharks cannot put the dagger home just yet. That pinch goes across. It'll go into the demo corner. Sharks looking to put this game away. And that's a send back the other side. Sock flake nope. towards the net. It's home. They do it just at about the 30 second mark. 28 to go in a one goal deficit. Sharks known for swinging super fast, just not quite fast enough to get to this ball. Barely too. I mean, Clay was right there. He just flipped a little bit early possibly, but could not get it done. It's now literally anybody's game. The Demolition looking to tie here in the waning 30 seconds. As Texas Ace races back. No miss off the wall. The ball takes a weird bounce. Pinch off to the, the middle. Sock click that shadow has to come in. Clay nearly getting the dunk. Sharks trying to keep this on the offensive end. Good offense is a great defense for them right now. But Sock click shadow has a chance. Ka just getting in the way. Able to send it right back into that green side. Sockflake Shadow again, looking for that last second play, possibly. Texas Ace thinking the same thing. They can't quite follow it up. Game dies out with the Sharks winning. Yep, that is a huge, huge game, too, for the Sharks to take, and really good work by Kaw. Kaw was the be the MVP of that last minute, for sure, in Definitely. that game. The, the time-wasting tactic that he had in the demo and not really letting them breathe. And it was partly on the demo, too. You notice a couple times they had a chance to clear it out, and they were really hesitant to try to challenge the ball, get the dunk, go for the dunk, get something going away from your net so that you yeah. have a chance to do something with it. They weren't able to do it here. Uh, not not quite this time. The demolition started to wake up there towards the end with the, the quick three goals that they had. But they need, they need to keep that momentum going here coming into game three as they really need these wins bad. The nice part for the Sharks, though, as I mentioned before, still four games out at the beginning of this series there, for uh, their division, as if I'm not mistaken, the teams in front of them are actually tied for first. They could take over two teams. Yeah, they very well could. If, they, if they're if they able to believe the they're four games out, if I'm right. Four games out, yes. Four. Yes, they're four games so out. 5-0 could indeed put them above the first two in the division, so that's a really, really good eye for that. This will be a chance for the demo to try to get one early, and that is a shock flake. They cannot put that one home. Back this way come the Sharks. That'll pop in front, trying for a defensive touch across his flake, sock flake shadow. And that'll be taken aside. Texas 21 with a really good clear. He needs one good bump. He's got sock flake lurking. Where's he at? He's right at the near post. But a really good play by Kaw to remove that from him. And with 38 seconds, or 35 seconds gone, sorry, it's a, still a scoreless game. But the demo looking better than they have in recent games. 
They have, yeah. They're going to need to clean this up a little bit, though, as again, giving up possession is Texas Ace. But luckily for the demo, the Sockflake Shadow stayed behind, trying to keep this away from their net. Defense has been a little bit lacking as of late. Good communication there. That saved Texas Ace from going for that. He went for it there, got the miss, unfortunately, as Ka and try to push the other way as the first minute has elapsed. Clay, a little bit messed up here on the defense, trying to clear this one out. Got himself a little bit messed up as Texas Ace sends it the other way. Let's see what they can do here. Ball spending a lot of time here on the magenta end as Sharks just can't quite get anything going here. The Demolition have not taken any shots either. No quality touches coming out from them as of yet. As again, Sox yeah, shot with a miss. Yeah, Demo has a lot of offensive zone time, but they haven't been able to do anything with it as they haven't, they weren't able to generate any shots on that rush. So that's something that they need to fix. Demo's still looking for a good opportunity in that magenta end, which is where the ball has been. This is Clay up into the corner, get to touch out towards half. Up and over one, but not two. Sharks going to circle around. Sockflake Shadow bumps into his teammate, Texas 21. No harm, no foul here. Still at corner bounce. That has the angle to go in, but a nice job by Texas 21 to take that one aside as we've, we're approaching halftime. Still not quite there. Scoreless game. Sharks trying to reverse fortune here possession-wise, and they're doing a good job for the time being. Around the corner. Demo looking for one touch into the middle. Clay HD is, gonna, is not going to let them be patient with it. He will attack. Getting a touch off the hitbox is Ooh. Sock Flake, but again, another turnover by the Demo. They'll keep it for the time being, but for how long? And it looks like Clay is going to limit that time. Texas Ace, you can see it way more aggressive on this ball. He had decent possession. He could have challenged Clay on that play, but nice little pinball action for the clear by the Sharks. It's America's favorite game. It's Blinko. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days you're gonna you're gonna come out on camera with the, the skinny microphone, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Don't forget you get your pit spade and neuter. This will be right. up the back wall. Ah! Demo. Trying to remove it from their back, but that is a problem in the finally Sockflake able to get it away from the goal line for the time being. How about one more touch? Sockflake does have one. He gets bumped out of the way. That is a Ooh. chance to turn into it. Trying to find an angle, what? he nearly got it. It ended up being a pitch towards that magenta net, and it gets cast aside by the right post. Clay will move it up. Clay has an empty net to shoot at, but the placement is oh. there is lacking, for uh, <sighs> lack of a better term, and it will be the demo fastly getting it away. And again, the Sharks had a chance there, but both of them just a little <laughs> bit too far forward. I believe it was Ka on the other side of that play that had a chance to take that pass, but he was just way too far forward to make anything happen. We'll see what if they can adjust here in the last minute. Still nil-nil as the ball heading towards that green net. Clay to play. Oh, it's an own goal. It is, and this is 100% on Clay. Clay tried to slam this one home, but Kaw really, the only thing he did was he hit it up the sidewall, and Clay put the pressure on. The demo weren't sure how to really react to that. They knew they had an attack coming in, and the uh, the demolition did the dirty work for the Sharks, and it's a one nothing lead with 57 to go. That's the scramble back you got to be careful of here in twos. As Clay lines up off a kickoff. Sockflake Shadow is there. No backup, though, as Texas State's trying to recover off a kickoff. Being hassled by Clay. And that will turn the ball over to the Sharks. Texas State's trying to slow it down. He does successfully, but that's towards the net. It's high. Looking for Clay to come through. He does, but Sockflake gets there first. Right about 30 seconds left. Ceiling shot. Potential. No, not quite. Oh, what a touch. Lingering in front of the net. Texas oh. Ace can't get through Clay. Very, very close. The ceiling play nearly created something special in the Sharks end for the demo. Now the demo have to play defense and try to get it back into the offensive end once more. 14 seconds on the clock. This is going to be up the sidewall. That's a launch towards the net and a save coming out. Now it's dagger time. Clay, far side, it's in. And the Sharks are going to take game three as well. Clay realizing the play potential here. Knew he had to get there and get there. He did perfectly executed right to the far side. Nobody there for the demolition. Seven seconds. That right there is the classic dagger. 
stagger time for the Sharks. They're going to try to add one more just for point differential sake, but it's not going to matter. They are going to take a 3 nothing lead in the series. They'll clinch the series, and now the Demolition have to try to fight for a 3 or for a 2-3, but they are going to have their work cut out for them if they continue to play like that. The Demolition, though, are starting to come come around to the Sharks' play style. The, they're starting to at least attempt to make any sort of possessional play. Uh, we haven't seen much passing yet. Uh, Platley, we don't really see that too much, but you can see Sockflick Shadow is starting to relax, trying to make those ceiling shots, trying to make something count on the offensive end. Uh, Texas Ace playing fairly well. He had two shots in the game. So just little things to clean up here and there, but the Bears, I mean, not the Bears, the heck, the, the Sharks, you know, they're just playing. I mean, Bears, they're playing sharks, good. They're, they're similar, right? It's totally similar. Definitely both aquatic animals. <laughs> okay, well, next time you come across a bear tank, let me know, okay? Uh huh. Yeah, definitely will. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right, we are just about set for game number four. A demo trying to earn their first win of the series, <laughs> and they uh, they need it for standings reasons. Hang on, hang on. J Jaden from Dairy. Sharks are just water bears. He's not wrong. <laughs> mean dolphins. Oh, no. <laughs> mean dolphins. <laughs> uh, Welcome to Freestyle Fridays, everybody. You're watching the MLD Network. We got Platinum League action for you. Yep. I did mention the Bears. They are playing the Foxes next after this series. Two more games left here for the Demolition and the Sharks as we are waiting for these guys to join the match. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, unless there's something going on in the background that we don't know of, and I'm sure the voice in our head will tell us. But the uh, if you guys saw a play that you like, minus the puns, because I'm sure they were terrible enough not to be clipped, definitely clip it. Send it over to the ML Doubles Twitter account. That's at M-L-D-O-U-B-L-E-S with the hashtag M-L-D-P-O-T-W. And the uh, nominee, or the winning nominee, will receive a case of Balls Garana completely free to them. Root beer is best flavor confirmed. And, uh, and those that are have a different opinion are wrong. Um, but either way, the they, you can send them a case of root beer or whatever flavor that they choose to their door. Completely free to them if you vote. So definitely get that done. Huge thanks to Balls Corona for the help in putting that on. We get things oh, going no. in game number four. That is not going to be quite an own goal as a sock flake shadows in that towards his own net. Braniac asking if there's any chance for a demolition recovery. There is. They, these games have been pretty close in general. Uh, both teams fa playing fairly well. It's just the Sharks a lot more organized, if you will, as far as getting on the offensive end and taking the chances that they're given. And the Demolition have been trying to. It's just the quality touches towards that magenta net is just not quite working out for them right now. Uh, and slight adjustments, I'm sure, will come through here in the next two games as that's all we have in this series left as Ka tries for that said, you know, quality touch much well, you like mentioned quality casting you mentioned adjustments and the adjustments need oh. to come here soon that's oh. a nice adjustment but it's not Ooh. going to adjust far enough down underneath the crossbar but the uh, the big adjustment needs to be the fact that the demo are trying for a lot of quick strikes and it's not working that's a play from cough our side another long goal they are giving up those at about uh, about a rate of two a game which is a big problem it's a huge problem. You can see that the demolition start to get a little bit antsy. They start double committing on the offensive end. Nobody back to defend or even deflect anything. And the Sharks kind of just waiting. Circling Ooh. around the chum, as I like to call it. Yeah, that's going to angle towards the post. And the Sharks nearly had a free one there. And finally, the demo are going to get it out. But back to the point, the, the demo, they're quick to give up possession. They're trying for the quick strike offense, and it's Ooh. not working. Oh! Finally, they're going to be able Finally. to get one here as Momentum puts that one home. And it is a 1-1 one, one game as Sock Flake Shadow puts it in. So Kaw recovered nicely here. He starts to go for the bump on Texas Ace, which would have been the perfect play. Now, Texas Ace, I don't know if he saw him coming. Maybe he heard him coming. But he def he just turned a little bit, and it was enough. Kaw had to scramble to try to make a defensive play, and it wasn't going to be enough that time around. As was wrapping around the corner again. If it worked once, it's got to work one more time. But now the big clear, the double commit again by the Demolition. A shot coming through by Ka. Sakhalik Shadow able to defend barely as he recovers nicely. Now the Demolition. A little bit of possession here by Ace. Not going to work out again as Clay challenges nicely and off the wall we go. 
gotta give uh, gotta give Koff some credit for this series. Minus the opportunity he just let waste a little uh, second ago, he's played and held himself quite amicably coming into his. I believe this is his first series in the uh, at, as a member of yeah. the Sharks, and he has held himself up quite admirably, and really really good work from him and Clay, who has really melded into a good teammate for what Cause trying to do. Uh, second series on the Sharks for Ka. Okay. I'm actually being told by Jay. That's um, also, this is the first time that we've seen the Platte League Sharks on stream. So for those who are wondering who the heck these guys are, that's why you don't know. Oh. Uh, but yeah, hello. Say Everybody say hello to the Sharks. I think and they're making their presence known. Uh, a bit, yes, definitely, especially with the addition oh. of Ka. But Sockflake Shadow found himself the wrong place, wrong time, and just kind of, you know, knocks it in off the wing. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happened to him, to be honest with you. The, uh, he was kind of just uh, static on the goal line and not a lot of movement. So that is something to watch real quick to see where that goes. But that is a big goal to concede with that said. It looks like Sockflick is moving now. And oh, then Texas! Really get a kickoff, and that is a great kill by Sockflick. Texas from the one finishes it off. I like this here. Texas Ace just realizing that Sockflick shadow. Sockflick probably called it. Said, all right, I'm going to kill it. And it was a perfect kill. Texas Ace just launches himself at that ball. And, of course, the other Shark going for boost didn't realize that that was happening so fast. And, and a fantastic shot, I might add. Sockflake oh. again right at the net, a bullet. And this is dangerous from Sockflake because if he misses this ball or doesn't quite get the challenge the way he wants, there's nobody on the back side. I think there might have been a rotation back, but not in time. Sockflake able to get it with not a ton of boost either and gets in front of the challenge and knocks it home. That's the quick strike they've been looking for for a while. And they've had a couple in a row now, but that's something that they cannot continue consistently and expect to earn this 2-3. have to see what they can do now. they got to be playing fairly confidently after the, that nice little recovery. But... Oh, again, the Sharks getting unorganized. This is exactly what the demo were doing before as the shot not quite wide enough as it rolls up the corner of the net. Sharks on the return. Getting the little fence is Kaw. Ace. Oh, right past Clay. Oh, man. Cheeky play. That's a big goal for the demo, able to basically dribble through two of them. The seas parted, and nothing that uh, Clay could do to try to keep that one away. Clay caught running back towards his own net as well. It's really hard to stop a dribble if you're running back towards your own net, and you really got to try to time a flip or try to realize where the guy is going with the ball. He was unable to do that here, so 67 seconds to go, and I believe that oh. may be the dagger, and that I, I may be... Uh, I may be wrong, but that is what it looks like now. You see, though, two goal lead with about a minute left, and that is the mistake the Sharks yep. were looking for. Demolition been doing that all series. Double commit, no way for Sockflake to get recovered at all. Uh, just, I mean, he could have flipped off the wall and used what little boost he had to try to recover as he could have, but still, it, he wasn't going to get back in time. There was just no way. That was not going to happen. Yeah, with 53 seconds to go, that's a big goal to give up. Now, all of a sudden, the Sharks still have life, and that is something you do not want to give a team that's already got a 3-0 lead on you in the series. Back the other way come the Sharks. They're going to try to get one more to tie. Good contact. That's towards the net near side, but it'll be well wide of that left post. Still an opportunity for the Sharks. Texas 21 into the defensive corner gets around one. Popped into the middle. Oh, no. That is a big, big run off the back wall and a big demo as well. Sharks can't take advantage yet, and they are oh. able to find an angle of 15 on the clock. Still a one gold deficit demo. Need to waste as much time as possible here. They need to earn a win. Good clear. Back to half. Nothing that the Sharks can do. Kaw is going to get demoed, and that's going to do it for game four. The demo walk through and at least get one win. Now they have a chance to earn that 2-3. Great play by the demolition. They, they minimized their mistakes as much as they could, and it's exactly what they've been needing to do all series. Only the one double commit that got, uh, that got punished. There were a couple there that probably were questionable, but they felt that they were comfortable enough to move on to the offensive end, even with the Sharks oncoming. 
And let's face it, that kickoff goal, yeah, that was massive. It was for, two of them. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the quick it, strikes. It, yeah. it just the, that quick strike stuff comes in so clutch, especially in that game. Now, the better question is, will the Sharks allow that to happen this game? I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think lightning strikes twice in the same place. I think the uh, Sharks are well too well organized for that to happen more than in that particular time period. Two goals in 10 seconds is a lot to give up in MLD, and I think that ultimately the uh, Sharks will recover nicely. Texas Ace, though, can't get it past Clay here as the demolition starting to the live demo. up their name. A great demo indeed. I'll have to see, though. They haven't really had a lot of demolitions, you know, being the team oh, that is. Oh, good dunk. Up. Big dunk there by Clay. It ends up going high because the defense was there. Possible breakaway, but no, Kaw comes in nicely. Yeah, I think he just spawned into that. That's really, really tough for the demo as they move it across the halfway line. Clay looking for contact gets a kind of lays one up here and that is sent back deep off the back wall. This is going to be an opportunity in front has a bounce fairly easily taken care of by Kaw. Demo still circling. They need oh. one more touch and a really nice save from I believe that, that was one Clay. was Clay. Yes, as he takes that one away. I don't think he got credit for the save though. Uh -oh. That's still an empty net and Demo finally able to circle the wagon to get one as Texas 21 puts a home. So Ka tried to make a play off the wall. He didn't get a great, great touch on it. And so no clear really coming through. And that put the demolition on offense as they were able to convert that mistake into something, well, something great as they take the lead early. Couldn't come up with a better adjective than great because let's face it, that is a fantastic term to determine that play. I mean, yeah. A minute. A minute and 10 seconds gone. This will be a chance for the demo. Texas 21 will wait. Has the angle. Finds the oh. goal line. Oh it my stays God. out for the moment. And they yeah. saved it. Oh, that was Clay. That was sorry. That was Kaw that dropped from the heavens and is able to keep that one out. And they are <laughs> counting their, their lucky stars right at the moment for making this game a 2 nothing deficit. Pog champs in the chat for the Sharks circling around to their goal line to save that one out. We're still talking about it like 20 seconds later. That's how good it was. Texas Ace makes a nice angle on it as Sockflake Shadow takes one for his transgressions. Demo for demo here. Clay gets the dunk, trying to get some control. Sockflake has more momentum. Cog goes underneath the ball, not a great touch either. And it looks like the Sharks a little bit rattled after that. They have to organize quickly here as Clay off the backboard. Good spot there. Slowing it down. Good possession here. The Sharks trying to move out of their side. They finally do. It's the long clear from Ka. Shot, not quite. Sockflake Shadow, really awkward there. The clencher, and he's able to come through. Something else I'm noticing, too, that the, uh, the, the demo are doing is they're prioritizing boost a little bit better. You mm, saw yeah. Sockflake Shadow in that last turn back into his own zone. Made sure to grab that side boost instead of letting his opponent get it. Even if you have 80-90 boost, Grab that boost just as a boost denial. Make sure they don't have yep. a lot in the tank going into your offense, into your defensive end. So good work by them. And we'll see if that continues because there's a big, big relationship between winning Rocket League and good boost management that shows here. So for those that don't quite understand what we're talking about, even though you have full canister of boost, you really should go ahead and take that because the opposing team could potentially oh. take the, that shot right there. See, Kaw had the boost to make that happen. And granted, he came from all the way on the other side, but still, that boost management, he's able to get in position. He didn't even need to use all that boost. He just found himself in a perfect spot, made sure he had track on the ball, and slams it home. Great job. Yeah, that's really, really good work. And uh, Clay actually got a juggle going in on that one, too. So that's a, that's a stat you don't see very often in this game. 1-1 one, one game as the Sharks get the ricochet off the pinch. Up is Kaw. Kaw off the back. Clay is lurking, has the dunk, but it will go well wide of that right post. At 100 seconds to go, Demo looking to keep possession of it. It'll bounce off the spoiler in front. It'll get careened into the offensive corner waiting off the top right down into oh, front my and a God. chance that goes off of the right post and that is an opportunity gone by for the demo shark circling again clay taking possession waiting patiently bumps it around two of them that's a chance in front with an empty net can't miss those and he will not 
Kaw gives him the lead with 111 to go. So Kaw coming from the other side. He realized a play was starting to happen as both Sharks, I'm sorry, uh, both Demolition actually go for that defensive touch. Not a great idea. They had the momentum going, and so in, in trying to keep that momentum up, they both went for it. And it's something you got to be mindful of. Yeah, keep your momentum up and all that good stuff, but Clay takes a shot off a kickoff right past Sockflake Shadow. That's a huge, huge kickoff goal, and that may be the swan song for these demolition. Good kill. Kaw, Clay with an absolute hammer of a shot just underneath the crossbar. Nothing that the demo can do with that quick of a turnaround time. Brainiac with the literal not like this right now as he is rooting for his Whoa. team. Sockflake shot with a nice save using the post. I almost said psionic please on that, but it was a good touch. Yeah. It's a good defensive Risky. touch for sure. This is off the back, and the demo can't make it happen. Off the side wall. Texas 21 trying for a little more contact, trying to beat two sharks in the same spot. They need to get something going right away. If the demo can get one, oh they, can, they might still be able to make something of this fifth game. Angled oh. shot, not a lot on it. This will drop in front. Coming in uh -oh. is Sockflake, and he will not get any kind of contact on it. This is going towards the demo net off the back wall, and the looks like the Sharks can waste as much time as they see fit with 18 on the clock and staring up at a 3-1 lead. Trying to figure out what the demolition can do here. They're a little bit timid on that play. They haven't been timid this whole series, and time when it counts, they are. Time is winding down for them, though. Well fought matchup between both teams. A little bit of jitters there at the beginning, but man, a game five comes through nicely. The Sharks able to take this one four to one, though. Only a two goal lead. So not bad, I'd have yeah. to say, for both teams. Definitely saw one save that deserved to be a possible play of the week candidate. And yes. uh, definitely grab that and you send it over to the ML Doubles Twitter account and get that play nominated. That's a really, really good one. As the uh, that one ends up in a Sharks 4-1 series victory. I would like to, I would, before we take off for the break, I would like to shout out Ace for the host, Ascending Champions coming through. 14 viewers in. Very nice, oh, nice at the end of their tournament as they have the early start so that their players and viewers can join in to the ML Doubles Network. Cool. Love it. Love it, guys. Thank you very much. Good but stuff for Mason. We'll actually have the second series of two. It is a little bit more Platinum League action right after this. This is Freestyle Friday on the MLD Network presented by Balls Garana.